Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Drug Training Company. We're here today with Charlie and Brandy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Charlie's ability to understand and respond to his formal obedience commands, most especially his healing. We know that that was top on your list and that's what we have practiced and he has done a really good job. Now the first thing that we want to take a moment to introduce is the training equipment that we're using. We're using a regular six foot web training leash and Brandy keeps the bulk of the leash folded in her right hand. That leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we ever give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Charlie's going to come home with his very own training equipment and Rich is going to teach you how to use that properly during your follow-up training session tomorrow. Now Charlie's sitting very nicely at Brandy's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Charlie heal. Now Charlie has been taught to, to stay with you when you're walking, whether you're walking fast or whether you're walking slowly, whether you make a turn and when you stop your feet he's been taught to sit and wait for his next command. So if you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone on the street he should be sitting and waiting for his next command. If you speed up he should speed up. If you slow down, which I'm sure that at this point your walks are not going to be brisk, he's been taught to slow down also and stay right with you. And if you notice Brandy's hands, she has no tension whatsoever on that leash. So Charlie heel means Charlie, you keep your shoulders next to my left leg and you don't drag me down the street. If he gets distracted or he doesn't sit automatically, you saw Brandy give that little tug, it's very gentle, and say no sit. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise it is a one word command. Your long sit stay, if you guys want to practice in the house with him, you're going to start out at about a minute and slowly work up to three if that's important to you. When Brandy returned back to him she walked all the way around him and she stopped at his shoulders and at this point he expects to get another command. And for anybody who's viewing this video that Charlie doesn't belong to, Charlie's 10 years old. So you can teach an older dog new tricks. Brandy leaves him in another sit stay and we've even practiced going up and down stairs with Charlie so that he's not pushing past you down the stairs. This time instead of returning back to him Brandy calls him. He comes and sits right in front facing her knees and they go back to heel. He is a really, really nice guy and he's done a good job here at school. We're very proud of him and his accomplishments, especially due to his age. She leaves him in another sit stay. She will demonstrate that come on command again. He comes in and sits. He's so cute. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are our series of down commands and there's two. The first one is down from a heel position so always have them seated first. That way you just use your left hand straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. Now your long down stay you can practice right in your living room while you're watching TV. When she returns, she returns exactly as she did on the sit stay, all the way around, stops at his shoulders. He waits to get his next command. 
And I would recommend that you practice all of your commands with Charlie because they all kind of go together in his mind. And when he has his training equipment on, he's working. So that now when you go to your vacation home and you have to walk him, he's right where he's supposed to be, walking down the street, not walking you. Brandy will call him out of this. And have him sit. And everything, Charlie is amazingly spry for 10 years old and strong and can have a bit of a mind of his own. So keeping all of these commands fresh with him can't hurt and is gonna help you ultimately with his healing. Now this time Brandy's gonna leave him in a sit stay. She's gonna turn to face him. She's gonna use her right hand to give the command and he's gonna lay down from a distance. That's lovely pose, Charlie. So that's your down from a distance. Now we've demonstrated for you all of Charlie's formal unleash obedience commands. I don't know how much of those commands Charlie knew when he got here, but the healing we have down pat. Rich is gonna let you practice with him tomorrow so you feel as though he's doing it for you. We've enjoyed having him. We wanna thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company. We will see you very soon.